And welcome everyone. The purpose of this lesson is to calculate feed requirements. So this is for everyone, whether you are a farmer, whether you are a student, whether you are a learner, this is for you. If you have interest in agriculture and farming, this is for you. And I know that with um, South African grade 12 learners, they will take advantage of this because this is part of their curriculum and also um, students doing animal sciences as well as agricultural extension. I know this will benefit you. So if you've got interest in farming, if you got um, if you are raising livestock and you struggle sometimes with um, uh, creating the right portions of feed then I think this this is for you so the method that we're going to use today is the Pearson square method which is a tool that can be used to calculate the portions of two feeds needed to meet the protein or energy requirements of an animal so I've got like two examples that we're going to use and then we're going to calculate we're going to balance the ration and find the ratios on the other one and then we're going to convert now these ratios either into kilograms and um, percentages so yeah let's let's get to it so the first one uh, let's just say question one right okay let's say we have a table which will indicate the feeds available to a farmer um, to compose a ration so i'm going to draw my table hope that's clear from your side so on this table we'll have the required digestible protein um, value right which is the dp so this is the one required then we will have our feed then let's say in this case we've got maize then we've got um peanut oil cake milk right then still on our table we'll have the digestible content of each of these uh, feeds right right okay so let's say the digestible content of um, the digestible protein content of maize is nine percent then for the oil cake the peanut oil cake is 44 percent then the the dp required for the animals is 17 percent right okay we've got our figures there so now let's try to balance our let's try to balance our ration using the pearson square method right so first things first we have to draw our square right so so now the first one what are we doing we are balancing right balancing the ration so we'll draw our square I'm not sure if this is a square okay but it's fine but we know that a square has got equal size I'm not sure if my sides are equal but it's okay it's okay okay fine so we have our square now then we said that now the required digestible protein is 17 percent and we put that in the middle of our square then the second thing we look for is the feed right we said we've got feed 
um, we've got maize, then we've got the peanut oil cake. So we're going to put that on our left hand side, right? So we have maize, which has got the digestible protein value of the content of 9% then we've got the peanut oil cake uh, meal which has got 44 percent so now we want to balance this ration we want to find the parts that we will need in order for this ration to be balanced remember you can just give animals food you need to also the same way that you have the balanced diet they also need a balanced ration of proteins of energy or whatever feed that you're giving them or whatever they will get from that feed right okay so now let's start with maize so for us to find parts that are required for maize we will check the difference in here so it will be thus 44 percent minus 17 percent and what do we get from there we have 27 parts maize right then for us now to get the parts of the peanut oil cake that is required we'll separate we'll check the difference between the digestible content as well as maize right the required digestible content right so 17 minus um, 9 then that means we've got eight parts right of the peanut oil cake okay fine so that's it here we were only asked to balance the ratio the only thing that we wanted to do is the balance ratio so now when we are giving the feed it means that we will need 27 parts of maize and eight parts of um, peanut oil cake now let's say now we want to calculate the percentage of maize which can be included in the ratio right so the percentage of maize right will be equal to the number of parts maize number of parts of maize divided by the number of parts of the full of the full ration right then we will multiply that by 100 so the now what we will get um, from here the number of parts of maize what is it it's 27 right then 27 plus 8 for the full ration will be 35 right then we multiply that by 100 then 27 divided by um, 35 you can quickly calculate that using your calculator or if you are good at math and you can just use your your head you can calculate it from the top of your head so that will give us um, 0 0.77714 like it's a big number then we multiply that by 100 it will give us 77.14 percent right and therefore it's basically just 77 percent okay so we done with that right so now let's move to the second one let's say you have um maize again um maize as well as the sunflower um oil cake meal 
which were used to prepare a balanced ration for animals, right? Remember on our previous one, we were trying to find, we're balancing the ration. Now, this one has been balanced already, okay? So maize and sunflower were used to balance this ration for the animals in the farm. Then now these animals, they need 18% um, um, digestible protein. So this is the required, right? Then maize now has the digestible protein content of 9%. Then um, the sunflower oil cake, sunflower has got... 38 percent so now using the same method using the pearson square method here's what we're gonna do right we're gonna calculate the ratio of maize to the sunflower oil cake mill which is needed in the mixture in this feed mixture so again first things first we draw we draw our square right okay so we said we've got maize which is nine percent then we've got sunflower oil cake which is 38 right 38 percent then the required the required digestible protein is 18 percent then we put that in the meat okay now we're trying to find the ratio now of maize to um sunflower so for us to get this the ratio of of sunflower or the parts of sunflowers um we will separate nine from 18 so we'll find the difference between the two so 18 minus nine that is nine parts right of sunflower right then if we want to find for maize now, right? It's 38 minus 18, that is 20, 20 parts. And therefore, the ratio, hope you can see that. The ratio um, to to sunflower, the ratio of maize, yes, of maize to sunflower is therefore 20 is to 9, right? Then now, let's try now to use this information, right? This information to determine the quantity of maize now in kilograms that will be required, let's say, to compound a ration of 650 kilograms, right? So we said that the ratio of maize to sunflower is 20 is to 9. So that means that um, if we add that 20 plus 9, that is 29, that is the, the the total number of or the total parts of the full ration right so now the amount of maize will be equal to 20 which is the parts of maize divided by the full ration which is 29 multiply that by 650 kgs remember we're trying to find the kilograms now right want the quantity of maize that is required in this ratio okay then 20 divided by 9 by 29 i'm sorry uh, can calculate that then you multiply by 
650 then we get 448.3 kgs therefore you can round it off to 450 kgs then this is what is required um this is the quantity required for maize to to balance this to balance this ration of 650 kilograms that's it from me thank you very much for joining me if you would like me to do more calculations please let me know in the comment section below and if you appreciate this content please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe thank you